So let's create a ceiling. Generally, most buildings have ceilings. Okay, so let's go to level zero. And now I'm going to make a ceiling. Once again, it will automatically create a ceiling for a room, which is what you want. And I want this to be a flush plastered ceiling board. I might go with a 6 to 1200 grit, so you see this a bit better. And from finished floor level to the underside of the slab, usually it's 2.4. So I'm going to say 2.4 and look what happens. I automatically select the room. If I go to my section, it draws my section, it draws my ceiling in. If I go to my 3D view, okay, here's my 600 by 600 ceiling. So let me just change this to shaded contrast. Okay, so there's my 600 by 600 ceiling board with its substructure. Ceilings are made exactly the same way as you would make a floor. Okay, so here you can see my core boundary is my metal stud. It's a metal stud layer, and my finished layer is the, is the ceiling board, which is outside of the core. Okay, and here it's drawn in my ceiling. Okay, and I'll draw another ceiling here, just so you get an idea. So in level one, I'm going to draw a ceiling again. So architecture, I'm going to grab, grab a ceiling. And here I'm going to say sketch ceiling, same thing. I'm going to pick this. I'm not going to draw the ceiling the whole way. I'm going to make it half the building. Okay, and then I'm going to go and draw another section. Okay, so here's my, and change my level of detail to fine. Okay, just remember you can join these objects, but here's my ceiling. Oh, yeah, just one thing to remember, and this is something I'm going to show you now. You have ceiling plan views now that are designed to look at your ceiling. Architectural students, you won't use this that much. Please note the interior students will. Just as a word of warning, generally we, we leave a shadow line because they can never build walls straight. So we leave a shadow line of 25 mil. So very quickly what I do is I just say offset 25 once I've put them in. Off, click the offset tool again. So generally we, we leave a shadow line. So you can see on my sitting plan view, here are my... Um, that's my shadow line. And what's cool about this, I can align my ceiling panel system to work with the wall so you don't cut a lot of tiles. So you're always trying to start somewhere where you're not having to cut. So here I would move this down by 600 because you don't want a small cut. So that, that it'll be equal cut there and equal cut there, for example. Okay. We try and center the pattern inside the room. But here's, here your, here's your ceiling plan view. So just remember your plan, your floor plan looks down, your ceiling plan looks up. Okay, so here's your ceiling plan view. Um, interior architects, please note that you'll be you'll be generating ceiling plans and you'll need to start working with ceiling plans as well. And I'll show you these techniques on how to work with these. Okay. But in essence, it gives me all the correct materials to kind of work with. So here's my ceiling plan. And what's neat is if you want to put your hanger system in, so if I went to annotate components. And I went to, there was a detail already here, suspended ceiling. Here my, here's my hanger system. Okay, that goes, that's where your ceiling board sits. And then you, you these stretch up, they actually sit, so you just need to offset where these start. Or you make a family that adjusts. But in essence, ah, if you were going to build a bulkhead, for example, in Revit, that's very easy. So let me show you that very quickly. So say now your bulkhead would run around here, then your ceiling would stop. Let me just do that very quickly. I just want to see how much time we got. Okay, we've got some time. So let's make a, a bulkhead on my ground floor. So I'm going to say, I'm going to create a ceiling. So my bulkhead is a ceiling. So you go ceiling. So this will be a lot higher. This will be just beneath the slab. So this will be 2800, for example. And this a bulkage is usually created using a flush plastered ceiling. Here I'm going to say pick sketch. Remember they always give a shadow line, so tab. Oh, you can use the offset tool, 25. And I'm going to select tab, tab, tab. And I was tab the wall, come on, offset. So let's use pick tool again, tab. Okay. And then I'm going to say offset again. A bulkhead is usually, it depends if you put lighting in or there's a, a, a seating tray. So your bulkhead either steps down or steps up. In commercial buildings where you've got shop fronts or glazing 
your external side of the building is all um, glazed. You have a, bulk, a bulkhead that steps up, which I'll, I'll demonstrate now. And the bulkheads usually, it varies. 500, so I'm just going to give it an offset of 500. So I'm going to say click again, and I'm going to say offset 500. Uh, tab, I just remember, pick line tool again, tab. Okay. All right, so that's my flush plasters. I'll do the setting up now. So this is my... That's my bulkhead. So here's my suspended seating, my bulkhead I'll create in here. Okay, so now I'm going to go and use this guy, edit boundary, level zero. I can go to my seating plan one now to find my, so that needs to match this line here. Okay, and get rid of this. Delete, finish. Okay, so now I'm going to have a bulkhead that comes up here. I'm going to have a series of walls that goes up. Okay, now, I do this very, very roughly. I'm going to go and say, now I'm going to create a wall. So I'm going to say architecture wall. But now I'm going to say edit type. I'm going to say duplicate. I'm going to call this plaster board. Okay. And I'm going to tell it if I go to what type of wall it is, it's a software type of wall. It's a it's a soffit type interior wall. So that, that's why you say function is soffit. You're going to go and edit type. Here you're going to go and say this is going to be, so this is going to be finish 1.4. And I'm going to move that, um, I'll move this layer up in the minutes. I'm going to insert another one. And this will be substrate. And this will be stud. Okay. I'm going to move, so that's usually about 50 mil. I'll get this from, and this is 12.5. And I'm going to move this up. Okay, press OK. This is very rough for now. This one I'll change to yellow. I'll explain this in a minute. Press OK. Now I'm just going to draw, and it's going to be core face exterior. Just remember, the exterior side is where the finish is. And I'm going to draw a rough series of walls rectangle i'm doing this rough because we will fine tune this in section and elevation okay so here's this wall but this wall generally starts okay and it's gonna align to there and it will stop over there so i'm going to grab this property so all i can do now is i can go back to my level zero and yeah, let's go to the section first. I'm going to use the match tool. I'm going to select all of, use match tool MA. So select this wall here. I'm going to use match properties, which is this over here. I'm going to grab the wall in the distance and this wall over here. And then I'm going to align this exterior face with that. Okay, and that's and now there's one more wall in this direction that I just need to match it with. Okay, so match. Uh, find that wall in the distance with that one done. Okay, and then just align it to the correct. Okay. Ah, I see. So this interior, so this might have to come to that face there. But anyway, we'll look at it in a bit more detail. Okay, I think I've moved the wrong thing here. Align. I've moved. I will move this. So the wall must move. Align that to the wall. Okay, that's better. Then what you can do is you can join these objects. And it, it'll make the join correct. And here I just need to make sure which is the correct, which is core, which is not core. So my core layer was, so my finish was my stud. So maybe that's what I need to do to my vertical wall. So here I'll need to say uh, edit type. So edit. So actually my core was my finish. Okay, so my core was my finish. So I move this down. I'm going to move this down again. Press OK, press Apply, OK, and then Join. Sometimes they don't join that well, but in essence, in 3D view, because oh yeah, you've got to match the materials as well. So if the materials don't match, then it won't look the same. So in essence, these shouldn't match, because here should be a shadow line, because they make a shadow line where this meets the bulkhead. But these two materials should match. So here... Let's go and see what this one is very quickly. So this, I want this gypsum wallboard. Ah, okay. 
So I'll, sh I'll show you what's going on. This is different. So control C. So these two need to work the same. Okay, that needs to be the same. So here will be let, press OK, press apply. Okay, so it's the same material. Here I just need to make sure that they join correctly. So edit type. So it's finish 1.4, finish 2.5. Okay, okay. So for this, I'm going to go to edit type, edit. So this one goes up, this one goes down. Okay, so this was 1.5, and I think this was 1.4. Just make sure, don't worry, you can just select all of them and press the offset button, it will fix it very quickly. And I'll, I'll sort it out now. So in 3D view, I can quickly sort this out. So use a line, tab, until you select this face, and I want the internal face. I just want to show you the joint conditions. I just want to make sure I've got the same materials in the correct location. So it's 1.4, 2.5, 50, yeah. And 15 mil. So this one I'm also going to make 15 mil. 2.5, and then this is 15 mil. Give it a bit of tolerance. Okay. Press apply. Press OK. And then these guys align. So that face, the exterior face of this. So I'm working in perspective, but doesn't like perspective view. And then you can join these two. Then they'll join correctly. Sometimes this will go past, you just need to stop this face with and align that with that. Okay, but you get the idea. So here you can join the whole, so here's your bulkhead, here's your ceiling, and here we usually wrap this round, but there's usually a 25 mil where this wraps round. Okay, and this will be offset from there by 25 mil. So if we went to your ceiling plan now, for example, uh, for ground floor, here's your bulkhead level. Here's your shadow line, and then your, your ceiling starts. But it doesn't matter. They can, they can switch. Okay. So in essence, say, and what's neat is all your structures done. And here you get all these little shadow line tools that you can pull in. Okay, so these can join now so that they start joining correctly. That's how you want it to look. Exactly like that. Okay. So if I went to shaded, for example, because... They've been used the correct way. Your plasterboard runs. This one, I've got a feeling that this will go to this point and there'll be a shadow line over here. There's, there's different ways how they treat this. Okay. So that will go to there, for example. And from here, there'll be a shadow line of 25 mil. So they built the bulkhead down. Likewise with this. Okay, this one will need to go into there. There it joins correctly. Okay. All right. So because we've used the right te the techniques, Doing this detailing, so you imagine you don't have to draft all the stuff. Because you've got all the detail in here, all you maybe have to do is put the hangers in. So here, again, I'll just show you very quickly. Um, annotate, components. Here I've got my hanger. Okay, you can make these families up. I'll show you this whole, I think there is a hanger on its own. So let's just go to components. I'm just going to see there is a hanger here. I'm sure there was another hanger. Uh, but there's lots of these, you can get all these hangers and that kind of thing off. Um, so here you can put in roof profiles. There's tons of stuff, guys. You can, anyway, but in a nutshell, you get the idea. Okay, switch to my line weights. And you can see these are designed to work in a certain way that your line weights look correct. Okay, there's lots of little bits of detail that we add and so yeah all right okay that's that so that's how you do ceilings okay we'll just have to join these walls change the scale to the correct scale 1 to 50 okay that's a half ceiling here you could have a flush ceiling these ceilings if you go to edit plan you can add um, so you can make them slope in a direction as well Okay, but here you have to work on head and tail, and I'll show you what that looks like. So if I went into this view over here. So if it starts at zero, then goes to minus three. I usually pick a line and then work out how much it falls. And then, especially if you've got a ceiling that runs along a, a slope, you can slope ceilings. Okay, so that's definitely doable. You can slope ceilings. 
we just go back to that level again, level two. So edit footprint. Yes, doesn't matter what view you're in. So it will start at zero there and slope to. Okay, so you can say head to tail, or you can say slope, and here you can say uh, slope 30 degrees in that direction. Okay. So there it will slope in, in a 30 degrees. Oops. Get rid of that. Okay, so here you need to pick an edge that it defines the slope as well. So here you can say define slope. So this is your slope, okay? And it'll slope in that direction. So it goes in that direction. Okay, slope 30 degrees. So then you can make it follow your ceiling. Okay, 